Welcome. This video will show an overview of the enforcement page in the licensing portal. To start, log in to the licensing portal. Locate the enforcements tab in the left column. Click on it to open the page. The enforcements page opens and all related enforcements will appear here. The first column displays the enforcement number with a link to the enforcement detail page. We will explore this page more in a moment. The second column shows the description for the enforcement case. Next, we have the status that the enforcement is in. In the following column, you'll see the date that the facility was notified about the enforcement. Following that, the Hearing Request Deadline column lists the deadline for requesting a hearing, if applicable. If the hearing has been scheduled, the Hearing Date and Time column will list the date and time that it has been scheduled. If an informal settlement conference, or ISC, has been requested and scheduled, the ISC date and time column will list the scheduled date and time. The upper right corner will show the number of records that can be found on the page. Returning to the Enforcement Number column, click on the Enforcement Number to drill into the enforcement details. The Enforcement Detail page appears and shows similar information in the top section as was shown on the Enforcements page. The enforcement number, status, date notified, hearing request deadline, hearing date and time, ISC date and time, and description fields will all appear as they did on the previous page. The hearing status will show the status of the hearing if applicable and will default to not requested. The hearing case number will be populated with the case number if applicable. Click the paperclip icon in the Related Files section to view any files that ADHS has attached to the enforcement case. If the enforcement case resulted from a specific process, such as an application or inspection, view that information in the Enforcement Resulted From section. In the bottom section of the page, view the enforcement actions associated with the enforcement case. The description of each case action is also a link to the Action Detail page. We will explore more on that in a moment. The status shows the status of that specific case action. The total amount will show the total amount due if the action is a civil penalty with a monetary fine. The start, end, and completed dates will all be filled in as needed, depending on the type of case action. If the enforcement has not been finalized and a hearing has been requested, this button will turn from Request Hearing to Request ISC. Click the Request ISC button to request an informal settlement conference for this enforcement. Fill in any required information on the associated pop-out and save to request an ISC. Returning to the actions associated with the case, click on the description link to open the detail page. The action detail page will appear. The top section will show similar information to the previous page. View any related files that ADHS has uploaded for this specific action in the Related Files section. If the case action includes specific action items for your facility, you can view the due date and status of each item below. The Attachments and Comments columns are sections that will need to be filled in by the facility when completing the required action, if the Bureau has requested these to be provided. To upload any attachments related to the action, click the paperclip icon. To add any comments, click the notebook icon. Enter comments as necessary. Once complete, click the submit button and send to ADHS. Click back to return to the enforcement detail page. If there are any other additional enforcement actions, select the action description to open that action item. The action detail page will appear. For a civil penalty with a monetary fine attached, the payment details will be listed in the top and the payment date, total amount, and remaining amounts listed below. Click Pay to be directed to the Statements and Payments tab to view and pay the invoice. This has been an overview of the enforcements process. Please refer to the Statements and Payments video for more information related to Statements and Payments. Thank you.